finally after probably three and a half years that i got back i took hold of my life and i got back and i said no i'm gonna do this whatever it takes like i'm gonna do less but i'm gonna try and keep a track of everything and try to do those questions more one month before the exam you should start sitting at the exact time and you should start stimulating that environment and that probably helped this time as well because i was very calm through the process if you follow everything word to word it's gonna happen and it's gonna happen in the first two and a half months for sure consistency is irreplaceable i think for the entire journey in hindi we have the saying like prabhu ka naam i used to go to them and i used to be like like sandeep sir ka naam a big congratulation on the 96th percentile 685 in the gmat um you mentioned this two and a half years of and almost so many attempts four attempts and then finally you got the score and you're extremely proud of that score as well so how do you feel about this entire thing prashant how do you have to say uh, i mean this has been a very long preparation for you and i can completely feel that it's been uh, very exhilarating the process itself has been eye opening as to you know how badly i could push my boundaries i mean uh, still i'm trying to uh, uh, improve the score again i want to give another shot because uh, uh, this is uh, something i want to improve on i know i can do it uh, but again yeah the whole journey itself has been amazing and uh, i would really like to thank sandeep sir uh, because i think uh, his words although blunt uh, have kept me on track you know at times uh for instance uh, there was this time in know the world where uh, sir is uh, talking about mukesh ambani and then he's like uske paas padhne ke liye time hai books he's uh, in reference to uh, you know him reading books why can't you do it things yeah. like that they've kept yeah, me going like throughout contrast i mean he he's the most uh... powerful man at least in india if not uh, the world a billionaire yeah. to start with and which me- which means he has so many things going on and in spite of that he has the time to read why not with you right with us exactly exactly the point which is why i knew from day one i had to push it uh, so again talking about my past attempts as well uh, i had been i had been consistent but there were obviously problems uh, which i did uh, overcome with time uh, for instance maintaining an error log rigorously i mean that took me a lot of uh, time to understand which is why probably i couldn't get there earlier You're right but yeah so uh, we'll... sticking on to yeah yeah to so we're just looking at the score again <laughs> quickly share that uh, um The, your score was hundred percentile in quant, fantastic, a ninety four percentile in verbal and eighty three percentile in data insight. So, do you recall how many questions did you get wrong in these sections of the exam? I mean, yes, uh, I uh, got I think three questions wrong in verbal. Ah. Uh, it was yeah, it was three, and uh, data insights I got nine questions incorrect. and quant all of them are uh, correct correct 100 100 percent correct yeah. fantastic so um prashant we'll start over from where initially it all started you are uh, from christ college so what did you study and where were you working before you you know embarked on this particular top uh, the gmat journey per se uh so a lot of ups and downs i uh, i have been an entrepreneur for uh, most of my adult life uh i had like four uh, startups already and uh, from the past 3 years i've been working at my family business which is uh, into retailing gemstones and i intend to take that forward in the future which is why this uh, mba again the journey has not been uh, all up right there have been ups there have been downs which is why i ended up here so for some time now i had been uh, trying to get out of the family business to you know explore my uh, options and see the world as well and you know Uh, again that budding entrepreneur in me and i uh, you know that startup founder i really wanted to get into that space again which is why i thought about uh, taking an uh, which is why i thought about uh, doing an mba and i thought it might open up uh, new ideas that i might want to explore later on by uh, doing this mba uh, initially i started with a mindset that i wanted a 700 i could probably go to uh, schools like uh, isb uh, and uh, stuff right but uh, that did not happen my first attempt was a 650 uh 
uh, and after that process is when I uh, came across Sandeep sir's uh, classes and then I uh, <clears throat> attended one of the seminars that he was uh, giving to students. Uh, uh, and that is when I knew that I could do it too for the first time in my life. And uh, since a child, uh, since a child, I was a very bright student in school, college as well. But I never thought I could do it, like, you know, get into those uh, top 10 universities uh, by any means. So that spark actually was, sir, uh, he actually uh, got got a story about a student from Bihar who got into MIT, how he'd also given a lot of attempts and uh, that kind of kept me alive. I knew that he did it eventually, I could too. And uh, everything that sir said, I wanted to follow it by heart. I wanted to believe it. And I think that is what kept me going uh, through the entire journey. I think this is, I was just having a conversation with Sandeep sir just before I called him. So hence, we got a, a call a little delayed. One of the things that I uh, I really appreciate what he did is the, does the goal shift, right? Your perspective shift. So maybe yeah. you wouldn't even ISB was your goal, which can be still, okay? Yeah. But, but there is much beyond, the capacity is there to think beyond. It's not like far away, right? Uh, and uh, there are means how to get it. And Sandeep sir is one of the means to help you get there. But the biggest thing is that you need to have that perspective shift. And you know, uh, so glad that uh, at least you uh, believed in that philosophy, and uh, now you are on the other side, getting the uh, here on the other side, get, having the score, and just very closer, one step closer to that dream, right? I... So, so tell me about uh, how did this entire thing start? When you initially started, um, of course, you did come to top one percent with a bit of an experience with GMAT. But where were you in the experience? Were you always better with one of the subjects or all three was a big shocker for you? Everything was a big problem because I think I kind of winged my verbal in the first attempt, but somehow ended up getting a decent score. Uh, again, uh, so it was it was just like I didn't study much for that for it, but ended up somehow I think it was a fluke. Because eventually the score, uh, because after I gave my exam, uh, when I tried giving mocks before starting to study again, my score actually went uh, drastically down, which is when I realized that I actually did not study and I knew it. So all the sections were uh, a problem. Initially, my uh, uh, quant score was 43 the first time. And uh, again, taking the second attempt itself, it improved to uh, 49. 43 in quant is like 80th percentile, I think, you know. Just, I know. Can you imagine like 50 to 100 percentile? It is such a big, big jump. Yeah. This and is like, I uh, finished my quant section in like 25 minutes this time. You, you were having 25 extra minutes? Wow. No, I had I had 20 extra minutes. So I went through like each and every question again. I did make mistakes, but I got to like rectify them. I had like two mistakes. <laughs> Right. Amazing. Amazing. So what really changed? You have to tell us the story of how this quant transformation happened and then we'll go at Wobble and then DI. Of yeah. course. But uh, please tell me how did this percentile shift happen? More start with the fact that was there any um, roadblock in the sense that in, in terms of your mindset, ki mere se to hoga nahi. this has been a very difficult mm. subject and how did you overcome that? Just give us the entire thought process mm. and your actual process towards that. Yeah. So uh, one of the basic things that I was struggling with was, uh, so we know when we want to score a higher uh, percentile, the exam gets harder, right? So initially what I was doing, it is uh, even if the question was getting a little tougher, I would give up and I'd be like, let's see the solution. I'll probably, you know, uh, know how to solve it later. And I'll memorize it or understand it. And then I won't forget it. But initially, uh, as soon as I joined top, uh, in probably one of the first classes, I remember so seeing, I was I was part of the live batch then. Uh, uh, I remember so seeing that no matter, you spend even one hour in front of the question, do not look at the solutions until you're satisfied with the answer or you think that you cannot move on with this question. Mm -hmm. means that this is your final answer that is what he meant so that is the perspective that changed and that timing changed and i uh scored a 49 and a 49 uh twice in quant before getting this 100 percentile wow wow this yeah. is amazing and then so that was the initial beginning of the thought process change and then how yeah. slowly 
uh, go about getting to a hundred percentile, you know. So first is of course uh, getting yourself away from the fact that this is how I need to approach the quant question. Now to getting a hundred percent accuracy, how did you go about? Uh, maybe specific resources, specific tests, timed, untimed. How did you go about them? It was uh, completely timed, first of all, like uh, as soon as the live classes and everything is over, I went into uh, time study mode uh, completely from uh, day one. And I never struggled with uh, time after I think 15 to 20 days of time practice. Uh, it was not a problem anymore. Uh, but getting the 100 percentile, I think uh, it was uh, so again, there was a problem uh, when I was trying to do a lot of questions in the before uh, previous attempts. This time, what I did was I knew I had one month to practice after I finished my uh, pre-work and uh, post-work of classes and everything that was done. I had one month. So I knew I didn't have enough time to, you know, finish the entire 700 to 800 document. I'd already done that before as well. So this time I was like, I'll do less of it, but I'm going to be really, really careful about my errors. And that is where I'm going to focus, even when I'm giving uh, mocks. Like I'm going to do less, but I'm going to try and keep a track of everything and try to do those questions more. And doing that, it actually uh, helped, uh, I think, this time. That is what uh, changed for me and my journey overall, uh, altogether from a 49 to a perfect 100. Perfect. Amazing, amazing. So can you just walk us, uh, walk me through the verbal and the DI section as well? How did you, um, uh, how did you go about your preparation uh, for these two sections? Uh, so verbal, uh, basically it was, uh, so two things about RC, uh, that is RC marathons com completely will shoot your score up like there's nothing, else, nothing else will. It takes a lot of hard work to do that because, you know, just doing one topic consistently. But I think it actually makes the most difference in, uh, you know, getting your RC score up there. That and the initial practice of, uh, do, you know, doing the first 50 to 80 RCs, writing the tone and everything separately, that that gets you in that zone. That that strategy also worked for me, uh, post which I never made a mistake in primary purpose and, you know, main, uh, the bigger picture questions at all. Apart from that, same thing with critical reasoning. Critical reasoning was a topic I didn't struggle with a lot uh, in initially also and later as well. But again, uh, those long sittings and doing those really difficult questions from uh, topic-wise, uh, they helped me a lot. Right. And uh, with the data insights? <laughs> Uh, data insights that became better because of uh, the harder questions, the 700 to 800 questions that we were doing, uh, through the class as well as the document. So because of that, the uh, time accuracy improved and, you know, in the initial questions, you could save up some time. Uh, I think in this exam itself, data insights was a topic, uh, the, uh, sorry, uh, IR that is integrated reasoning was a topic that I was, uh, that is where I made mistakes and I missed my mark because of that particular topic. No, was that an error that you think you could have saved yourself from? Like the questions, you, if you look back? Definitely, definitely, 100%. So I was kind of overconfident. I did not give it enough time. I did not do everything I was supposed to right. do in that order. Uh, so I thought I could, you know, uh, skip ahead from that. And it, right. I, I paid the price. Yeah, I was, especially in the scoring part is definitely different from what you had seen in uh, the classic edition. Uh, yeah. There's a lot more of twist and the types of questions are there. It's a lot more. It It's only getting, uh, let's say, more challenging <laughs> the DI yeah. for the time pass. Uh, very well said. Now, uh, one of the things that I would like you to highlight is, uh, did you see yourself, um, you know, ask any doubts and questions or strategy guidance uh, in through your preparation? I understood the process really well and uh, a lot of doubts that I might have had the first few times I did not have this time. Right. So amazing. So, but overall you were at least contended with the fact that, you know, the doubts, everything came in all together. Very so, quick, very quick. The response time uh, for uh, technical issues, for, uh, you know, anything, uh, anything uh, course related. Uh, it was the turnaround time was so quick. I, I was actually shocked. I mean, you know, sometimes uh, the first few times it was like I would send in a doubt and I was like, okay, this might take some time, so I'll move on. But, you know, within uh, probably like half an hour or the first 20 minutes, sometimes you have the reply and you're like, oh, 
that's <laughs> yeah it's at least the loop gets closed right away like, yes and uh, also after i took my uh, second gmat i took a strategy call on how to you know improve my strategies and then that is when they helped me out with you know uh, telling me that uh, one month before the exam you should start sitting at the exact time and you should start stimulating that environment and that probably helped this time as well because i was very calm through the process because i practiced that uh, three hour period of studying you know since one month uh, before the exam this time rigorously right so prashant you actually mentioned something to richard in your earlier conversation when you reported the score that mm -hmm. uh, your resources and platform have made it made all the difference and ktw changed my life so could you just highlight a bit on how what all uh, when did you actually get to uh, look at the ktw session and what are the things that really impacted you uh, the first half of ktw act know the world actually i've seen it thrice <laughs> uh so this is what actually resonates with me also sir said that jo aap binge watch karte ho netflix wagera this will become that and it actually happened i got so interested and uh, it actually had a positive impact on my life how uh, uh, so basically i was going through a tough time you know uh, life had been kind of mundane working in the family business and uh, sometimes it becomes a uh, little uh, difficult to get out of it right get out of that comfort and i'd been struggling to get out of it for the last 2 years and uh, there wasn't enough motivation there wasn't enough uh, you know thought behind it also i didn't not believe in myself although i had achieved uh, quite a few things uh, in my past ventures but uh, again post covid uh, there were certain setbacks that even i could not overcome and wasn't happening for me uh, but then uh, the way sir motivated uh, in each and every uh, you know know the world video talking about people and their habits and how you could uh, do that to it was finally after probably 3 and a half years that i got back i took hold of my life and i got back and i said no i'm going to do this so whatever it takes it was not my best anymore it was whatever it takes and which is what i've been trying to do right till now so the that's an amazing because that's one of the things that sandeep sir also and even richa for that matter it's always there yeah. it's popped up and even we uh, as a motto we go about whatever it takes right i mean it's there is one of the things that sandeep sir says that you get only let's uh, imagine that you get uh, one pass uh, on the death day sentence how would you utilize the maximum of it like it's a death day yeah. you get just one pass and what will you do on that day right? so so that has been the uh, motive behind getting the you know going towards a 90 yeah. percentile score because yeah. that ultimately opens up all the avenues that you have but gladly i mean we would i definitely want you to sp spend a little more time talking to sandeep about ktw session if you can write to him how it has impacted in a deeper sense uh, in it really impact in in practical sense how did it impact this it would really mean a lot for him to read through how what that changes has uh, I definitely want to do that. I I I would love if you could like give me his email address or something. Of course, I'll share will, that. Yeah. You can always write to him personally on the email ID. It's always lovely to see such transformation, and that's what just a really for. really really funny story. I want to tell you, like, uh, know the world. When I was watching, it's it's uh, really dramatic. Okay, don't judge me. uh so <laughs> matlab jaise uh, like what happened was that time i was so motivated to study and the reason was know the world that is literally what changed from not doing it consistently to doing it consistently right so i used to like uh, you know uh, joke around with my parents and i would go around them and as i say in hindi we have the saying leke bhagwan prabhu ka naam i used to go to them and i used to be like leke sandeep sir ka naam i mean i was so <laughs> honestly speaking like it it went that far i was like in it at the time oh man this is <laughs> definitely we have so many people and so many of our students including me who idolizes him and really because the knowledge that he carries is bhagwan se company you know he, but... he can he can he can motivate you i mean he sees something that you don't see in yourself before you know meeting him and Yeah, that it's been an amazing journey. Yeah, that that, that a person who is truly in his heart, who's a teacher, would want. Ah, uh, I think that's the quality of the the yeah. teacher. To be honest, to be able to change. Ah. Uh, what you don't see it in yourself yeah. amazing i mean you know i feel uh, what you are capable of and you see it yourself and i really really wish that uh, you know you achieve 
whatever admits but so what you got this score and did you get the chance to apply to any schools uh currently yeah, i'm 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 planning to apply i have a few options on my uh, list All, uh, although i'm looking at a better I'm, i want a better score i am planning to take the exam again around november so that i can touch that 99 percentile mark and then you know apply to the Howard Stanford and what in the M7 leagues is yeah, yeah. amazing. I mean, I hope that happens soon because generally, again, coming from an entrepreneur background, there's, there's a <clears throat> lot of open scope, uh, you know, like they're looking at the diversity as well. So I hope you really put uh, put out the uh, right message. Uh, that is your um, employability, your credibility. I'm sure you will okay, get, uh, get in there with the author's help. But if you want to summarize the entire thing, it's been a long journey, right? Now, if you want to do that two and a half years to maybe like two months, what are the things that you would say that you should have done and, uh, you know, the things that you could have avoided completely? I mean, uh, being selective about what Sandeep sir says, being selective about following uh, some things and following not following the others, for instance, for not following the error log properly not you know practicing enough of error logs uh, and then following some some of them like you have to be consistent but consistent and you have to follow other things as well like if you follow everything word to word it's gonna happen and it's gonna happen in the first two and a half months for sure consistency is irreplaceable i think for the entire journey so you can't be selective about what sir has to no. say Right. Cannot. That you cannot is... be like Mujeto Yad Rejaga, just a many years or the Mujeto Yad Rejaga error log. If the Dova Karuma, I'll remember it. But no. <laughs> so, how did error log kind of change uh, your entire game? I think uh, the problem was that I did it once uh, once in like 15 days or once in 20 days. And then also I was rushing through it. I wasn't actually thinking why I'm making the mistake. Whereas I was doing the same mistake again and again, even while, you know, solving it. And every time I do it again, uh, uh, every time I do it again and not give it enough thought, I do not pause and give it enough thought. I'm not, uh, I'm not going back and thinking where I'm going wrong. And so what happens is you're not getting the same question, obviously most of the times, but uh, you might make a similar similar mistake. For instance, uh, I had an issue with careless mistakes, so I'm like, I'll be more careful during the exam. I'll be more careful during the exam. Never happened. You're right. Unless I was, I, I was, I was consciously doing it. Right, right, right. So this is what we were talking about. Error logs really help you. One, when you go back to the question, you will understand what is the mistake. Second, yeah. every time when you're maintaining an error log, just before you attempt the question, you need to analyze, spend almost uh, one fourth of the time that you spent on doing the questions to analyze those questions um, and put that so that you don't repeat. And the number of mm -hmm. questions that you would do wrong, for example, you don't have to go through all 30 questions. You you just yeah. have to go through only the questions that you've gone wrong. Wrong. And, makes, and see it yourself if you're making the same mistake. Right. Mistake, so that, yeah. That's how you would be able to analyze. And, you know, there you go. You have that example of not having an error. Yeah. Log. And uh, also, I, I, I was going through the uh, top, uh, the new top portal, which is, which is again, uh, very, very much uh, better than the old one. And it's it's got so many new things that makes it even easier for us to, uh, you know, go okay, through the process. The UI, UX, everything, almost we've yeah. tried making it exactly. Yeah, as it, it's, it's very similar. Yeah, probably the even I, I really like the way uh, how the exact uh, coloring and everything uh, towards the mock tests that helps, I think. Yeah, the <laughs> transition even, is there. Even yeah. I think the total, we kept it very subtle so that uh, you don't have a sudden uh, transition of the blue yeah. and the white background that is there yeah. in the total as well. So you will see a consistency even if you take an official mock. It, the same yeah. so there's no sudden uh, deviation that's one of the other important things one of a few of the students speak about environment and really making sure that your mind is adjusted yeah. to those things that uh, this is mm -hmm. what that we did right so also i was uh, again giving my uh, mocks when i was giving my mocks also my score was around uh, the same but it was around 675 685 uh, at the portal right right amazing a beautiful uh, such a beautiful journey i would say i mean it's it's definitely a long one we wished it could have been shorter but nevertheless you are almost yeah. there to the score I'm, I'm, uh, I'm glad i did not give up i mean did not thing. give up on sandeep on yourself 
uh thank you again so much to uh, you know you, you trusted this process not once but you've trusted it again and again again and again <laughs> many many things you know through ktw through gmat again with application you know i mean nothing nothing less than the top most for you i mean i mean i really wish this happens for you and <laughs> we hope that uh, it happens very soon within this deadline within this cycle itself within uh... this Yeah, it yeah. has to. It has to. <laughs> it has to. Right. All the very best, Prashant. Don't give up. Uh, keep that attitude, and uh, let's see an application and admit uh, very soon. <laughs> Shining there. Thank you, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you again for joining me. Have Have a good bye evening. Bye. bye.